Welcome, Dark Warriors. This is Rumen. Usually, I would start out with a recap of events from the previous episodes, but to be honest, the plot is so simple so far that I honestly don't even feel a need to give a recap of events. Anyway, I don't get what the big deal with these red save points are. I feel like the developers are just teasing me. Um, I don't see why the save point needs to be inactive, but I will respect it. I'm assuming the save points are red specifically because they want me to trigger an event first. But I still don't see why the save points would need to be unusable. This is a really nice looking game. Oh my gosh. The character's entire butt covered the screen for a second. Oh my gosh. I'm going to talk to these characters. I'm going to see if they have anything interesting to say. Concentrate on the mission. Okay, I like this character's design. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Ah, ow. So... Let's look at the map. Yeah, I'm not seeing any waypoint markers on the map. Wait, do I gotta go to Central Resilia? Uh, I don't see why the plot would call to go there. But it is the only place on the map that's visible to go to, so. The Kingdom of Langdok lies east of Resulia, and in its capital of Santarol is the Royal Institute of Signatary Studies. Most people coming from Sword of You pass through Central Resulia, then Medoc, and finally cross the Rond River to get there. Find it funny how I say, I don't see why we need to go back to Resulia. And then just a moment later, she says that, answering my question. It's, it, it's like the devs knew that I and me alone specifically would be wondering that. What's going on with... Is there something wrong? Um, no. I just have a barrage of questions. You know, about the inner workings of her power. By power, you mean really a signet? Right. You and I both wear these markings, called signets, upon our flesh. It is extremely rare, however, to see them on a child. Really? I won't say there are no exceptions to this rule. Still, assuming what she cast was signaturgy, it's much more complex and effective than any form of it I've ever seen or heard. Go on, then. What's more, considering the fact that she collapsed both times she used it, we can infer that her signaturgy is puissant enough to affect the caster. I have to say, it's beyond my understanding. One last thing. Every signet I know is always visible. But hers don't appear except for when she uses signaturgy. Yeah, I was wondering about that, too. As any signaturge would. I haven't been this motivated for such a long time. Alright, I think that dialogue is finished. That's actually pretty interesting. What she just said. Yeah, look at that. Look look at the time of day change. Look. Look at that. I will I will never not be amazed. Like yes, I know it's something very simple, but I don't care. Gosh darn it. I like appreciating the little things. And I think it's cool. I like how the time of day changes, and I'll never not like it. I like every time of day. Some people are morning people, some people are night people. No, not me, man. I, I like every time of day. I'm being serious. Look at the water now. Earlier, when it was daytime, th this water, like, reflected the color of the sky, and it was like a bright blue color. But now it's like dark blue. I like that. That's nice. Go look at my map. Yeah, let's go over here. I, n I never say anything when I enter towns just in case the characters start yapping for some reason. So I'm going to go to the inn quickly. I'm going to save if I can. If, if I can. I notice that a lot of these save points are completely inactive for whatever reason. For <clears throat> Excuse me, for whatever reason. And the save point is blue. That is that is nice. I don't know why the save point at the camp was not active. Um, I don't know if I'm overlooking something or if those save points are intentionally red or if the game is kind of bugging out for whatever reason or if there's not enough room or, or whatever. But uh, yep, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll overlook it for now. And uh, yeah, honestly, OK, earlier I said I didn't want to give a recap because I thought the plot was simple. But honestly, the, the, the plot is not simple. The plot is there. It's not non-existent. It's just told in a very subdued way. I don't, I don't think the plot is the main point. 
it basically started out with with us trying to save the village from the bandits and then stopping ethanol because he apparently stole some weapon that we never actually got back so i don't see the point of that was but now the plot is we found this girl of, with sign energies i'm guessing that's this game's version of symbology so fidel and miki are trying to return this girl home and this wasn't directly stated but it was heavily implied that they think maybe finding out where her sign energy comes from can help them return her home and that's why fiore is here fiore is here because she apparently knows about sign energy so she's gonna help us with that but unfortunately fiore doesn't seem to know about this character's specific kind of sign energy okay, then. Let's reconvene and but apparently we're on the right track i don't know also, apparently there was like a war or something. Th th there was some some kind of war going on in the background that was completely inconsequential. Like, uh, Fiore's village was in a feud with the village that Aetolin was from, I think. Yeah, like if I go into my resources and go, go to my synopsis. Like apparently the Resilian army was feuding with the three full on army wait how do you say that again oh my gosh yeah that word the the tracheron i'm probably still pronouncing that wrong but yeah apparently Rosulia is that war for them so it seems like the plot is just a weird mashup of every previous star ocean plot so in star ocean 3 you had aeroglyph at war with aquilia so you have some of that war element in this game and then in star ocean 2 you were trying to find rena's true family kind of like how we're trying to find uh Relia's family in this game and you were also trying to reunite claude with his father as well in that game so i wonder so i'm wondering if there's some star ocean 1 and star ocean 4 plot in here somewhere i don't know anyway hey miki what are you doing oh fiddly if you're looking for a place to eat this restaurant is all right the salad was delicious they've got a b and c courses but i'd skip the b course if i were you Pasta is mediocre. Besides, A's main dish is fried and they give you so much of it. Also, the soup's the same for all three of them. W hang on a second. What's all this about courses? Just how much have you been eating? Well, ladies eat for half price today, so I decided to try them all. On my neck, I guess that's what I get for staring up at the castle for so long. That's the same exact thing you said last time. Yeah, every Star Ocean game needs to have that woman character like candy and sweets and stuff like like it's like a trait they put on every Sorry. previous main female lead like i remember in star ocean one there was a scene where uh rena liked chocolate or something and in star ocean four there was a side quest where he had to get raymay some cake or something i don't know it's funny what do you got to say uh what's your name Fiore, I can't help feeling everyone's staring at me. Are si are your capitals no centraluge? What is going on me? Are your signatures rare of a sight? Well, they're not looking at you for your si signature jets. I, I I I can guarantee that. And finally, do you got anything new to say? What a big castle! It must be really hard to clean. At least that's what Miki says. You are pretty affluent i was expecting this to be the kind of character to never say anything and, and just be completely mute but no she's actually pretty talkative all right yeah it looks like i got all the private actions i don't see the whistle anymore i quickly left and re-entered the town and uh, yeah the whistle's missing i still think the whistle is a funny choice like personally i would i would have made it an ocarina so uh, yeah i'm going to run onward to the next area this is a particularly nice looking area right right here in my opinion just like i don't know just like the way like the sunset and grass in the mountains like th like this would be a good screenshot if the characters were out of frame yeah that is very nice so when you reload the save your bonus bar does not go away that is awesome in the previous star ocean games it 
did go away. That is a that is a great change. Okay, we are back in mid dock. This is this is this so far might be the best looking area in the game. Uh, yeah, like this area, just like look at the colors. Th this is nice color. I, I I keep saying that, but yeah, this this game such a nice j just like nice colors, nice shading, lighting. Why is this guy limping? What's got you down, Fiore? I have a terrible craving for my country's tea and sweets. I'm so homesick. I don't think they call that being homesick. I think they call it being hungry. Wait a minute, what, what, what are these stars on the map? What is this? Ruddle, I just got done drinking with him. Oh, that's for, that's, that's for a side quest. I'm heading to the infirmary in a, in a village called... What was that again? It begins with... Okay, never mind then. Is there more hints to the side quest? Here, there's a little star on the map. You're looking for is in the firmary in Thal. Yeah, and in, in one of the side quests in the previous town, it said to find Ruddle. Um, I don't know who Ruddle is. It's in Thal, that's a uh, Fiddles Village. All right. I guess I'll go do that once I get there. But first, I gotta, of course, I gotta Whoops. go talk to Welch to see if she has anything new for me. What do we have here? If it is an old assistant number one, what timing? You'll be the perfect guinea pig. Um, food critic. Here, try this delicious juice recipe I've concocted. Don't be shy. It's got the Welch seal of approval, which is the best in the business. See the label? Go on now, down the hatch with it. I mean, sure. I mean, I'll eat anything that's put in front of me. Strange. It was downright ambrosial when I made it with fruit. Maybe there's a problem in the recipe? That has to be it. Hey, you there. You with all the frills. Congratulations! You're my second assistant. As your first duty, you can improve this juice recipe. You have undertaken the following quest, Drunk on Creation. It's funny how completely over the top the rumble was in that cutscene. Like every little movement, there there was like a, there was like a rumble in the controller. It'd be such a way to do throw this out. Let's try it again. Uh, uh, okay, let me keep the text up, please. Wait, wait, does the text stay up if I hold the button? No. Okay. Um, spring water. Deliver a lemon in a bottle of spring water to Welch. All right. How do I do? I buy that? Do I buy the lemon in spring water? Uh. Hold on a sec, I'm gonna go to the shop. Sorry. I'm so hungry. When research calls, eat all three meals in one go. Who'd you hear that from? It's just something my mentor used to say. Although, come to think of it, he always ate three square meals a day. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost done. Time for one last spurt? Yeah. Oh, women and their eating habits. Ha 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 ha. Anyway. Uh, you there. Give me the spring water. Empty bottle. Uh, do I need that for the spring water? Hold on, wait a minute. I'm gonna buy that. Um, okay. I'm guessing with this bottle, we can go down at the dock here and then we can collect some of this water right this is what i'm supposed to do right i'm supposed to like go to a body of water and collect the water and then deliver it to welch some some spring water somewhere or something okay honestly i don't know about these side quests right now i don't know what to do with them i don't know how to do them so i'm just gonna yeah run to the star on the map when in doubt run to the star on the map I wish there was a function like this in real life. Then I wouldn't be so confused. Don't worry about money, this is on me. That's nice. I mean, personally, I would, you know, 
as the main character. You know, I should be the one paying, gosh darn it, but it's, but, but, but it's okay. And I'm a man, so I should pay just to be a goddamn gentleman. We should probably get to bed. I think someone's coming. Yes? Excuse me, but I'm with the inn. Can I have a moment of your time? It's <laughs> more than one. Something's up. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Go out through the window. Quickly. We're, we're not suspicious. It's it's the guys in the ship. There there are more of them. They're on to us. Kick it down. Uh oh. Oh, so they're after her. They know where she is. Wait, they can track her. They're escaping after them. Get them. No matter what Who the cost. They? There's no time to find out. Concentrate on getting away. Th they're the people from the ship. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Nadalon's leader was using. Hey, Fiddly, those outfits of theirs. When we first met Relia, there were two guys with her. Are you sure? If that's true, then... Yeah, they're likely after Relia. We have to protect her no matter what. Did Fidel really not remember that there were two guys of the girl when we met her? Yeah, if they knew she was at that inn, then that most likely means that she has a tracker on her. So... Uh, yeah, that's not good. Are we just gonna lead them to Santa Lue? Rule? Santa. Santa Ru? Is that how you say that? I don't know. Look at this new area. Oh, this is a nice looking area. It's a nice looking game. What, what can I say? This is nice looking. I don't know why people were criticizing the graphics. I, I, I like how this is a forest at night. Forests at night are my one of my top five favorite areas in gaming. My my favorite areas in gaming goes like this. I love bodies of water in the desert. I love forests at night. I love rainy areas. And then my favorite areas in gaming is home. Just home. That's right, I'm that pretentious. Oh my gosh, this enemy has a lot of health. Oh my gosh. Now my clothes are all dirty. Sh sh your your clothes are dirty. Should I have bought a weapon there at, at, at the previous town? I don't know. Nah, I, I guess I guess not a big deal. Oh my gosh, just the harpies. Th these things first appeared. I think they first appeared in, in Valkyrie Profile, and and uh, yeah, Trias has been using them in all their games ever since. And these things also kind of have a lot of health. Oh boy. Hundred and fifty, seventy-five, two hundred percent combo right there. There we go. Yeah, just do a nice big strong hit there. Take away a third of his of, of its health. I'm going to um hold on a second here. Set rolls. Um You know what? I'm gonna put these on. Just in case I come across plants or insects, you know. I don't see any sign of him anymore. We're probably still searching in town. We just need to cross this river and we'll be in Langdok. This is no time to be resting on our laurels. We still have a ways before we can actually make it there. Will you be okay climbing up mountains at night, really? I'm okay. I'll lead the way. Come on, let's go. Okay, I said the water in this game was not as good looking as the water in Star Ocean 4. But to be fair, Star Ocean 4 has some of the best water I've ever seen in a game. But this waterfall, this waterfall is actually really, really nice looking. Like, look at the glimmer on that waterfall. Look at how it moves. Like, wow, that's like super impressive. Like, it's just nice and artistic. Look down there. Look at that canyon. Big old tree. This was a song. I think this was a song in Star Ocean 3. Yeah, this was one of my favorite town themes in Star Ocean 3. Yeah, I'm happy this one's back. Yeah, yeah, I love the... 
reuse of music because I because I love the you know I love the I love the soundtrack of the previous game so oh my gosh I did a hundred damage yeah also this is an enemy from Star Ocean 4 this was an enemy in uh, the first dungeon I, I can't specifically remember the name of the dungeon the stone golem I, I remember Star Ocean 4 these things are actually kind of annoying you had to like blindside them to do like massive damage. I'm gonna miss blindsides. Blindsides were fun and awesome, but I can see why they were omitted from this game. They were a little bit counterintuitive and hard to pull off. Oh my gosh. I, I need to block the attack. Oh my gosh. I decided to block the attack as soon as it does a strong attack. Oh my gosh. I blocked that attack. Yeah, it's fine. Oh boy. As you can, as you can tell, I'm not 100% use of the combat yet. I haven't quite completely nailed it down yet. Fire gem. But yeah, I'm, I'm not completely incompetent. There was a save point and a healing pad over here. Purification signets from that chest. What is that? Um, I'm gonna save before I walk into that. Okay, what is this? Oh, that is healing. Okay. I was just used to how they looked in Star Ocean 4. But yeah, I guess that, I guess that is a normal healing spot in this game. Yeah, it's nice looking. Look at that. Look at the beam of light in the distance. What is that? What is that in the distance? Oh, are, are we gonna see a futuristic town? Whoa, look at that enemy! That's a nice looking enemy. Watch this. I'm probably going to do a lot of damage to it because I have a skill that increases plant damage. Let's see here. That was over 500 right there. I'll say I'm going to try to do a really big combo. There we go. 200% double slash right there. All right. Yeah, that is a uh, very cool looking enemy. All right, I'm going to see if there's like a chest over here. And there is. It's kind of interesting. The more Star Ocean games you play, you start to get this sixth sense on like where chests are going to be. So, so when you play Star Ocean 1 for the first time, and it's your first Star Ocean game, you'll play it and you'll be like hugging the walls like this, trying to find items. What? How'd they do that? I've never seen that type of signaturgy before. We've got you in our grasp. So how about you hand Relia over to us? Just who are you bastards? That's none of your business. Now be a good boy and hand over the brat. Unless you want to die. Miki, hold on to Relia. I, I, I swear the voice acting is still funny. Anyway, yeah, like... When you, uh... Yeah, so... Playing this game, like, I can... I, I don't need to look that hard for the chest because they're placed on the map and oh my gosh Anyway, yeah, oh my gosh, this is hectic. I can't get I can't get commentary Uh, Fresh sage come back damn you live god damn it Oh, I like how their portraits change when they get healed and stuff We'll even things out Our shields are gone. I've neutralized their shields. Yeah. Oh my gosh, die. These people kind of look like me. And they still have a lot of health. Oh my gosh, look at look at these characters that I can't play as right now. Oh boy, I am like under leveled or something. Uh, get back here. Where are you? There. Oh boy, 300 damage. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is a tricky battle. Die. I'm just doing the strongest hits I can. Is this just one guy? Yeah, it's just one guy and he has so much health. Oh boy. Uh, 
There we go. 200%. Oh my gosh. Why am I having this big delay when I finish my combos? That was not happening before. Yeah, for some reason I can't attack as fast. I hope that's not the controller. Oh my gosh. Something is up. Something is up. Skill level up. I, I just leveled up my skill. That's good. Oh, 50 hit combo. That's good. I think... I overlooked buying a weapon or something. I think I had to buy more gear and stuff at the previous town. But I just didn't think about doing that. And now this guy's going to take forever to kill. Oh my gosh. Who are my people attacking? That guy? Alright, I'm going to attack this guy because this is who, who everybody on my team is focusing on. Just, just get him. Okay, there. Like, one more good combo will do it. There we go. Okay. Alright, now let's kill the other guy. Yeah, I was wailing on two people there. The camera was just so close it was hard to see. Look at that. Look at that town in the distance. That's a cool looking town. There we go. Two more really good combos will do it. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right, this battle is basically over now. All right, there we go. All right, who's this character? I've seen her before. She appeared one other time. I have not seen this guy, though. Got the blue hair. He looks like he got hit in the eye by something. You truly saved our skin back there. Thanks for the help. Think nothing of it. Although I do have a favor to ask. Can we join you on your trip? Huh? I must say, milady, that expression of total disgust ruins your elegant. Uh, allow me. We're not out to do you any harm. My name is Anne, and his is Emerson. Exactly. You can totally trust us. So just take us. Captain. I mean, Emerson. Please stop telling these nice people what to do. You're right. I'd also be wary of someone asking to join me out of the blue. Okie dokie then. This is the deal. We're just like you guys. Just like us? How so? You see, we were also running from those atramentous thugs. They were after you too? There was that brouhaha in Medoc, right? We were scurrying away from that, and we happened upon your little scuffle. And you decided that you would help us? Two of you are beautiful ladies and one an adorable kid. Who to save and who to snuff out was clear as day. Thank you. You're very welcome. Sounds good to me. You can come with us. I knew you'd say that. <sighs> we won't let you down. Is it all a dialogue? What if this character is actually like a thousand years old? That'd be tropish. Anyway, yeah, look at that town in the distance. Oh, wait, is the time of day changing? No, we're just approaching the skyline, so the lighting's changing a little bit. All right, yeah. Uh, that was a boss fight, and it had one of my favorite songs, Starship 4, playing. I love it. I love how they made what is unironically probably my favorite song for Starship 4 into this game's boss theme. I like that a lot. That, oh, that's a cool looking town. That is a cool looking town. Let's go over there. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is probably the most annoying enemy in Star Ocean 4. I hope they're not as annoying in this game. Hope and pray, hope and pray. Just wail on it. Okay. All right, they're simpler this time. Okay, I'm really happy that they don't do the the gimmick that they did in Starship 4 where they would totally just like increase every enemy's defense by a lot. I'm walking now. I can't run. 
Santarol's not far now. The sun's coming up. Hey, look! So pretty. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is Aqualia or Aqua from Star Ocean 3. I think it was Aqualia. Yes, one, one of the best songs in Star Ocean 3. Let's freaking go, dude. Anyway, yeah, Star Ocean 4, the, 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 the succubus could buff up its friends in battle, and it was awful, and it was really annoying, and yeah, and he had to, and he had to do the blind size to do a lot of damage, and it was just like, ugh. Most enemies of Star Ocean 4 were fun to fight, but not, but not that one, no. No, 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 no. Alright, so... Do I want to go explore over here, or do I want to go over there? I guess I'll just go into the next area. You know, I can, I, I can explore over there later. Look at this, uh, big giant hill here. I want to slide down that hill. I want to come here in the winter and take a, take a ski there. That's what I want. So this is it. The storied capital of Signaturgy. I don't want you getting lost, so stick close, okay? Okay, follow me and I'll escort you to the facility. There's one here, another there. Signets are everywhere around the city. You've got some keen eyes there. Legions of signaturges study here to enter the Royal Institute, and there are just as many shops that cater to their needs. So you could empirically say this bustling metropolis was built upon and lives off of signaturgy. That's the Amazing. doctor in the previous Stop. town. That NPC Not over there. Wildest dreams, did I? I never knew having my motherland praise could elicit such feelings in me. Yeah, look at this. This, this is totally the the doctor. Are are you the same character? Um, what do you want? No, you're a different character. Um. Yeah, I keep saying it, but oh my gosh, this is a nice looking game. Oh my goodness, this game has particularly. Good grass textures. Oh, look at all the cats. Trius loves their cats, don't they? Sorry. All right, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go to the shop before, before anything else. Hey, wait, you're the, you're the guy. You're, you're the fucking doctor in the previous town. Oh my god, Bunny! Oh my gosh! Hi, Bunny! Sorry. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait just stay there. No, Numo! Oh my gosh! Look, Sorry. look at it! Look! Oh man! Oh, thumbnail. That's the thumbnail. Oh, wait, more side quests. Hold on a second. I gotta, like... Oh, but I gotta match to these side quests now. There, 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 there. And I gotta match them again, just in case I already accidentally did them. Yeah, I did this one. What is this side quest? I have no idea. I don't I don't know. There, there. All right. Good. And now I got the Founder Signet Volume 1. Oh, boy. I bet... What'd you just say there? I bet I have to go to the previous town now and... Uh, put that volume in one of the side quests. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, shop right here. All right, give me the goods. I right, purchase items. Falchion. Bless sword. I will take that. Thank you. And then... Yeah, that. Well, I honestly don't know what to buy. All, all these armors do slightly different things. Like, this one adds defense to dark, but makes you vulnerable to light. This one adds defense to water. You know what? I'm just gonna buy the most expensive armor. Because why not? I'm assuming they're the most expensive armor for a reason. And the nice thing about this game is you don't even have to select the armors after you already buy it, because the game does it automatically for you. That's nice. Anyway, I'm gonna see if, uh... I can buy some. Yeah. Do you have spring water here? Any spring water? Yes, actually. 
Okay, I got the spring water. And lemon. Okay, now I can go do the Welch side quest. And right here is a bookshop. Um, can, can I buy... Yeah, I can buy skills here. Actually, I don't know if this would be that good. I think these are like one-time use spells and not permanent. So if I buy this fairy healing, I can use it once and it's, it's yeah, it's not, it's not like natural, like learning it by level up, no. All right, star on the map. Actually, side quest, I mean, uh, private actions, any whistle, no, okay. Why is there a random X on the map there? there there's like a point of no go there. Behold, the Royal Institute. This, is, this, is, this looks like an area in a previous Star Ocean game. Keep it up. What the fuck? Why are there a million lizards in this game? Follow me. That biometrics. So it seems. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining because Lizard's a great character. But there are a million, a million of him in this game. A million of him in this game. I just discovered a new thing that's hard to say. I cannot say there are a million of him in, in this game smoothly and quickly. All right, starting the map over here. This way. Unbelievable. Yeah, much more so than any fairy tale I know. This place is way too technologically advanced. I'll get some footage. No, we better not. There are spies! Right, they're not supposed to be here. Oh, wait, I can get a better look at his backpack in this lighting. Honestly, I'm gonna try to get a good look at that backpack. Look at that backpack! That's pretty cool looking. Actually, look at that. He has, the, like, the, there's like a woman there. Got some text on it. Let me look at your weapon. Oh, look at that. He has a cool uh, shotgun bow. Another cool shotgun bow. What do you got? Some uh, pretty nicely crafted hair there from the developers there. Do you have a cool weapon? No. I'm still walking. I can't run. Are the characters going to say something? You Usually, I, I notice when you're walking, that means there's a conversation. You look like Welch. Does she not look like Welch a little bit? That NPC right there? Yep, there is there is no running. Excuse me, lady. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk through you, my bad. Excuse me. Look at this end table. There's a book there. All right, onward. Okay, now I'm running. So in this room, you 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 walk because it's a it's a it's a library, and running in a library is rude. This, I know what this reminds me of now. This th this this might be a slightly obscure thing to say, but like th this looks like the like the main hub in Valkyrie Elysium, with with like the red carpet and the and the books, and like the white walls. And Valkyrie Elysium also had these kinds of tables with, like, stuff on them. Look at, look at these symbols off to the side. Cassius, it's me, Fiore. Come in. So this kid is... Oh my god, it's freaking Leon, dude. He's the most talented scholar we've ever had. Welcome to the Institute. I'm Cassius, one of the researchers here. Bringing visitors along is indeed a rare occurrence for you, Fiore. That is not the voice I was expecting to have. I was expecting to have a little brat voice. Signets on a child who, if anything, is even younger than myself. That's my first question. Who in their right mind would dare imbue signets on such a small child? I cannot pretend to know the answer, 
but I can unequivocally declare that it is no one related to this institute. Not even I have had a signet imbued upon my flesh. But that's not the only issue. First off, she's much too young to be getting signets imbued on her. Secondly, you almost never see her. The only time anyone has observed them is when she uses them. Interesting. Thirdly, she can't, by all accounts, control her signaturgy. Even so, we know she can at least activate it. And now for the finale. I've never seen anything remotely resembling either her signet's forms or functions. So, what do you think? Hmm. Do you happen to know what any of the signets look like? Yes, just a second. That's the logo. That's the game logo right there. You've got me. I can't say I've seen anything that resembles this illustration either. Ugh, oh, what a shame. I thought that you, of all people, might have some insight on it. By the way, I don't picture you as the type to go around helping others, Fiore. At first, I was merely along for the ride. But now, I've taken an interest in her and her signets myself. I'll do what I can such as looking for any precedent. Meanwhile, why not venture to the ancient institute and search amidst the troves of archaic documents there? Hmm. Perhaps the mysterious signets of ages past can offer us a glimpse into the solution. If one of us learns anything, keep the other one apprised. Thank you so much, Cassius. Now we know our next destination. Let's go there. Is this not the same exact voice that... Please refrain from doing that again. This guy has the same exact voice as... Uh... Uh... uh Fidel's brother from earlier in the game. I can't remember his name. I think he had like a normal basic name like Frank or something. Ah oh, dang it. What's his name? Ted. It, it, it's not Frank. It's Ted. Gosh dang it. Anyway, let me enter these rooms. It's been five years since I set my sights on Cassius and I'm finally in the... You're way too old for him. Are you kidding me? Uh, you, you're friends with Ms. Brunelli. Please let me know if you're going to her visit room. I don't know. Maybe he's just a short 17-year-old or something. Strict signature when we come to an impasse during our research week. Oh my gosh. Uh, ung. Well, that's not what you said last time. When we come to the impasse research, we have four attacks up through attacks up through each other. Okay, I read, I read it, I read it. I, 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 I had, I had to fumble, fumble my words, but I did it. I did read it. All right, that, that looks like everything here, pretty much. So, so I guess I'll just go on to the next area. No, wait, no, wait. We gotta do the private actions first, of course, of course. There's totally gonna be a whistle in the town now, and I was right. There is a whistle right there. Yeah, for some reason, when I first came into this town, the inn was blocked off. So, you can't imbue objects with signets, can you? Actually, you can. People have developed all sorts of tools that make use of signets. I was thinking, what if you strap- Pardon me. Wait, what? You, 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 you just stopped talking. These guys just stopped mid-sentence. Did I miss that private action? Oh, okay. I guess I won't try to walk into NPCs anymore. I apologize for trying to be f a little bit funny. Look at this. This is nice looking. Oh my gosh, stop disappearing. I want to get a good look at this. Oh my gosh, stop. There. Look. Okay, fine game. I guess I won't appreciate you then. Gosh dang. All right, spill the goods. What's going on? Oh, nothing much. I was just talking to this lady. Tell him you're jealous. Ask who's sitting on her, chastise him. I don't like any of these answers. Honestly, I've known this guy for less than a minute. So all of these answers are inappropriate. Like, I'm not on the joking level with this guy yet. You know what? Tell him you're jealous, sure. I'm so jealous. I can never talk to women. Right? Of course you are. It would have been rude not to talk to her. Trust me when I say this is how it's done. Exactly right. You can be my wingman next time. It always works better with a wingman. 
All right, man, cool. No need to get so friendly with me so quickly, Jesus. Anyway, I'm going to find more private actions. Fiore, what kind of activities do scholars do in the name of signaturgical research? It definitely depends on the person, but I mainly decipher ancient texts and make inferences from them. Then, I write my own treatises based on the knowledge I've accrued. The ancient institute is rife with intriguing tomes just waiting to be discovered. You should check some out when you have the chance. Oh. Is there something about my answer you didn't like? It's not that. I just assumed you'd be mixing mystical materials together and making them go bang, or dropping eyes of newt in adder's forks into cauldrons to boil and bubble. That kind of stuff. You're confusing scholarship with stories. A lot of these private actions feel like they end early. Like the conversation gets cut off mid sentence Oh my gosh, look, they're little bunnies! Whoops. They're, they're little ones, oh my gosh! Whoops. Look, look at them, look. Oh, and they make little hopping sounds. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Oh my goodness, what's this area down here for? Can I, can I go in this building? I don't think so, it's not on the map. Pardon me. Yeah, I, 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 I like the bunnies. Hmm. <laughs> really, yeah. How about you and I take a dip in the baths later? Really? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Can Fidel join us? Oh my no. god. Out of the question. We won't be able to have a peaceful bath if he's there. It's a it's it's a cultural thing. Like personally, I wouldn't want this little girl here taking a bath with a adult female stranger i mean she's not really a stranger at this point but still but i mean i mean it, whatever honestly just gonna overlook that and i'm gonna leap in her one more time to see if there are any other private actions that was the only private action there so oh look up at the castle whoa that's nice looking i never got this like view of it yeah that is that is cool looking there's a private action like way in the corner here Del, who's the most popular? You, Mr. Soldier, or Emerson? Emerson, me, Victor, um, I could be humble, or I could say Victor. It's me, gosh dang it. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, well, me. I knew it. You're number one. Self-confident, are we? Yeah, uh, it, it was just a joke. <laughs> and to be fair, Fidel did not recognize Victor, but Victor did know of Fidel. So that would indicate that Fidel is actually more popular, in a way. I think at least. Anyway, any more, any more private actions? No. All right, I'm going to leave and re-enter one more time and check again. Yeah, like if I'm being completely honest, I do think that this is the best private action system so far. I think it's best. Oh my gosh, all my characters just spawned out of me right there. Oh boy, anyway. Yeah, like I do think this is the best private action si private action system so far because I don't know, I, I like how they're on the map. I, I think that's nice. I, I like how you don't need to actively try to find the private actions because I missed so many private actions in the previous games just because of how difficult they were to find. And uh, yeah, this way, you're you're not missing out. You're not missing much, really. Which can you hold better, your sugar or your spice? What can I hold better? What, what does that mean in this context? I guess both. I like them both. I really can't choose between them. I completely agree with you. Who says we have to choose sides with food? This isn't war, you know. It's mealtime. It doesn't matter whether it's spicy or sweet. All that matters is that it's delicious. What? I don't think you can use that phrase except with liquor. Okay. All right. I mean, okay. All right then. I don't. I don't want to be harsh and say the private actions suck. So <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 
So, so I'll be nice and say that the system for getting the private actions is is definitely an improvement. But the private actions themselves are, I mean, they they could be spiced up a little bit. I don't know. There might be some better private actions later. And okay, that is all the private actions. There is no more whistle. And now I shall actually get on to the next area. And honestly, I think that might be a good place to end off this video. I saw a lot of the story and we saw a lot of private actions. That feels like about an hour to me. So, uh, yep, it's a good game. Good game so far. Honestly, I do like this game. Uh, yeah, ignore the haters. It, it, it is good. Pretty fun. Pretty fun stuff in this game. I mean, so far at least. So far, I think it's good. And uh, yeah, I think it's what you're watching, Dark Warriors.